where a bunch of delinquents are about to break into a building. Um, That's what we do. <laughs> since we I'm don't accept have, that statement. <laughs> since we don't have Helena, I'm going to give a quick overview of what happened last week. Um, <laughs> okay, you guys took two. Stupid. You guys took two tests. Um, one on Slotty and then one on Albers, and then you did something else. Slotty with the body. Is it red, blue, green? Red. Mm. Blue. Mm. Green. Yes. Uh, and then you played Wizard Gizzard. Mm. Um, mm-hmm. And then Steam Methods appeared out of this pots and almost killed everybody because there was a lot of them and they kept coming. Yeah. Uh, but you guys persevered. Uh, Zero only died five, six times. Um, you mean uh, fuel near. Near. <laughs> so He didn't me. nearly, he, he passed out. He nearly died. It wasn't, it was mostly dead. He fell on his neck a couple times. Yeah. <laughs> when they're all dead, well. Yeah. <laughs> uh, and then you were challenged by the upperclassmen via an anonymous note to steal uh, Sexy Sally mm-hmm. from the Dapplewing Manor. You went and did some recon uh, where <laughs> Dell's mother uh, erased a man's mind. <laughs> and then also affected Zira with a powerful enchantment that you apologized for. And you guys came to an understanding as far as that goes. Um, that man is still not okay. Uh, but His brain's still dripping from his ears. Sally, what's man? I don't know. Which they man don't. are you talking about? The tourist man. Tourist. The, the, the tour guide. Oh, I've not been any tour. Yeah, there's been no tours. They don't do gift tours. That's like right. That. No. <laughs> um, so, and then we no, ended no, with you guys uh, a couple days out from the caper itself. You glossed over the beautiful moments that we had in the bar. As true college students. <laughs> Drinking well. Oh yeah, Dale revealing the revealed his thing. deepest, darkest secret <laughs> of possibly, most likely, most definitely, eventually being consumed by his uh-huh. patron. Eventually, eventually, <laughs> where uh, we all had to take commiserative shots for like, oh god. I think we're going to take that, and from now forward, whenever my players are drinking, we're going to do a drunken secrets roll because that was a surprise. It was so much. That was awesome. <laughs> <laughs> it was great. <laughs> I feel like Dell walked out of there being like, oh, they opened up so much to me. I feel better than I did more to share. We've had such traumatic lives. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, so you, it is the next day. You are all, mm. uh, everyone make a con check. Let's see how hungover everybody is. Con con check? Check? I need yeah, to... just straight con. <laughs> 12. Oh. Con saber oh, check. Nope, you're good. Yeah. You're fine. Five. Five. Well, no, seven. Uh, that is going to be at eighteen plus for me. Um, eighteen. Uh, so um, Kipper. Kipper. Uh, sorry, second time knowing your character. No so worries. Kipper and Dell. Uh, are definitely fine. Uh, mm-hmm. No ill. It just you feel great actually. Ooh. Like you had a great night. Um, you it's feel really icky, but so you're okay. Uh, you've spent the entire morning vomiting. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't even drink that much. <laughs> the concept of food is just abhorrent. <laughs> you drank after you made sure we were safe. It was the noble drinking. Yeah. There you go. As Del comes bursting in the door loudly with pancake. Mm. No, no. <laughs> Take it away. I should eat. I should eat. I should eat something. I get okay. fizzy genius. Thank you. Oof. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Grab it. <laughs> make a con save. <laughs> Can you make a con save, Zira. <laughs> I hate you. I hate. <laughs> Uh, who do you want to vomit on, Zira? One hundred percent. One hundred percent. All over his plate of pancakes. <laughs> oh, bio. <laughs> well, you you can have mine. But now it's up, so now you have one for more. And he turns <laughs> around and walks out of the room carrying the plate of vomit. <laughs> oh. <laughs> 
I will uh, dispose. Yes. Thank you. From somewhere in a dorm not far from yours, there is a large gong. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> God, what does that sound like in your skull? Make it stop. Good morning, you bell. <laughs> morning. I go. I get. A, I make, <laughs> go make sure the blinds are extra shut. It's Sunday. It's Friday. It's Friday. <laughs> Standing at the door to like knock and say good morning with the plate of vomit. <laughs> <laughs> good morning. I just heard the gong in the other Oh, good morning. This is not for you, but I'm going to go oh. get more pancakes. Yeah, I don't think I would eat that. No, I don't think anyone should. No. He's also splattered. <laughs> it was projectile. <laughs> Maybe shower first, oh. too. Oh! <laughs> People are very strange things come out of them. That, that usually happens. But it's not acid. Yeah, so I'm surprised Fjolner had that much in him. Uh, no, it was uh, zero. zero. Oh, I didn't think he drank that much. Yes, Fjolner's on a phone here. Um, two, I guess the question for Dell too. Being Owlin, is the concept of throwing up any different? Well, I mean, owls throw up all the time. Yeah. We just make little pellets, though. Okay. So, well, like, it's not very liquid. liquidy. Yeah. So that's why you're not, like, too freaked out? Yeah. Okay. I just had that's to... a different for my, for my I, own headcanon. In my, in my brain, it's like he's seen a lot of disgusting things over time. Okay. So, like, it's whatever. <laughs> it's not like he, he doesn't like it or something, but it's not going to bug him. Okay. <laughs> yeah. When you've seen humans vomit uh, is a part of their ritual, it is um, non person. Yeah, but I think I will go down and get some pancakes. That does look good. It's, I don't know where to put this. Um, uh, there's a there's a trash chute down at the end of the hall, maybe. Ah, perfect. That trash chute. Look... Good morning, roommate. <laughs> get out! Oh, she like throw something. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna close the door now. Bye. <laughs> I love you, gone. <laughs> My poor roommate. I mean, need to give her a name at some point. I'll drop it in the trash chute, still wearing half of it on me. <laughs> do you know them, uh, the clean thing? The roof thing? I don't think I do. There's showers at the, on the dorm. Yes, but he's wanting prestidigitation, and I don't have it. Yes, okay. It's the same. So the showers yeah. cast prestidigitation on you. Oh, yeah. They're just boxes that you step into, and you're clean. <laughs> Done. I love and, it. Uh, as Zira and Fionier say, B R B. <laughs> slips into the bathroom and pops right back out. Listen. Yay! It's fantastic. So I will head down and grab myself some pancakes. I'll I'll grab a replacement set of pancakes for uh for Zira and one for myself. And then I'm gonna start thinking about all the like trying to remember exactly what Dell had said and it be came, like it comes back to you as you're walking with Dell all at oh, once God. and your vision kind of like meets in the middle distance. <laughs> He's just kind of like saying hello to absolutely everybody they pass and like <laughs> And I'm gonna put my arm around and just like oh. a <laughs> little more protective. It's everything okay big friend. Yeah, yeah, every, everything's fine. I'm just I'm just remembering that uh, deep, insightful conversation that we had last night when we were all in our cups a little bit. Yes, you have had very sad lives. Well, not just us, I think. Um, it's coming on the campus. Yes, mm. I will I will say that. It... Right. Um, I'll leave you. <laughs> I'll leave thank you. But... Yeah, I think we've got, well, we've got a few other things maybe to distract us today. But yeah, I just, I'm here for you. Just let me know. Just. As you walk and... into the dorm, you see Molly stream past going, <laughs> and then a student kind of like half heartedly chasing after him. He's like, you just stole all my unfinished homework hmm. and said he's going to do it and then ran away laughing. I, uh, I would let him. He'd I, probably work on it. I, I was thinking the same thing. He said he wanted double of all of his classes. I'm really confused. Last time he took mine, um, I got it back uh, in about uh, 
three hour with uh, very good notes. You're very French. Just go uh, with it. Uh, in from uh, <laughs> elsewhere. Yes. Mm -hmm. uh, this is a boy's dorm. We're heading to breakfast. Huh. Yes. <sighs> I'm going to mage hand and flip you off. He turns to his friend and is like, no, we'll game with you. <laughs> <laughs> As I'm standing like three feet shorter. <laughs> <laughs> She's got her arm around him. <laughs> yep. Um, but yes, I'm here for you as well. Thank you. Yes. That's that's really sweet. As they enter into the room, are you wearing any kind of perfumes or anything? No. no? Let me say to him, and to the abyss. The smell of pancakes reaches your uh, con save. <laughs> what? And like I didn't bring any. We were just gonna go downstairs. Yeah. He said he got. Oh, that's yeah, more. Okay, so I came to eat in the room with you guys. Thirteen. Uh, you managed to make it to the bathroom this time. Mm -hmm. Oh, I see now what happened. Yes. Oh. Heavy gay out time. There's no cell up on these. They are just plain. Mm -hmm. <laughs> right, I'm gonna cast healing word. Do we want cell up? Uh. Damn it. If you had a lesser restoration. I have nothing. All I have is healing word. Boo. Can you can give him bardic inspiration yeah. for his next con You. <laughs> Zilla, how about the toast? Uh, or do you have any hair of the dire wolf? Uh, I think I uh, may. That's, I think that's what they call just drinking a little more in the morning. That way you're not. Yeah. Feeling the effects, oh. hair of the direwolf, is oh. that it? I think I have some uh, some ale from back home. Where we, where's the wisteria ale? The curious tale of wisteria ale. Ha! <laughs> <On> save. <laughs> Don't fuck with me, die. Inspiration? Uh, that's a 19, regardless. Okay, so you're past the worst of it. Thank you. <laughs> uh, the ball first. Just to try. Are there any extras? Oh, but yes. Uh, but, okay, so there was the vomit plate and about two before. I'll take half of my pancakes and give them to you. Oh, are you? Uh, I oh. won't finish it all. And there's also, a, did you eat the additional plate already? Probably. Yeah. <laughs> Just a half giant. Yeah, <laughs> it's fair. He sits on the beds that they give you guys, and his knees like come up to his shoulders. His, his, his legs are so long. He's like crouched down. Yeah. <laughs> so this is what the boy dorms rooms look like. And smell like. It's very. How different. does it smell, huh? Have you ever been in a men's dorm floor? Or a hallway? men's locker room? Oh. 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 Well, a little bit of no, sweat, like boy. a little bit of axe body spray, a whole lot of desperation. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you are. And very shame. forgiving. <laughs> There's same. lots of smells. Yeah. It is not uh, the same on the other side? Oh, uh, no, not usually. We've got... There's... Well, I wouldn't say that. I mean, that's not... I'm. You they, said that, not me. In the boys' dorm, they have normal showers. Uh, they don't have the pressure dissertation showers. I showered in the girls' dorm? <laughs> <laughs> I bet I didn't have to disrobe at all. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, oh, shoot. Uh, there is no uh, zero on the floor. In the it? girls' dorm, there's just the there's the prestidigitation showers, and then there's just a whole row of luxurious tubs. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I think next year I'm going to ask to be moved. Yours was much nicer. It, it is pretty nice, although I don't know if I want to see what your facilities look like. I don't think I have. They have several plasmoids on their floors, so it's pretty gross in there. No, I'm mean, sorry, it's pretty clean in there. Okay, okay. They just kind of roll around in there and, you know, flattenous cube up all the dirt. I usually uh, clean. That makes it. sense. That does make sense. So well, I would think that vomit was a little hard to get out of the out of the feathers, but that make that's probably why going into the into our showers was a little better. Yeah. So you know, tomorrow at midnight, you're supposed to go steal this doll. Do you guys want to do anything else before that? We practice somehow. We practice our stealthing. 
I mean, you have classes today. Yeah. Right. Tomorrow before. Tomorrow morning. Yeah. You could sign up for a practice space and like set up like how it's supposed to look. Yeah. Do you guys want to set up and like study beforehand? Give a feel of the building. Practice our sleep. Well, I mean, I got I got put that rock in the door. Yeah. So that'll be our way in. And I can do a flyover before it is dark. And if it's at midnight or at least before that, then there really shouldn't be anybody in the building, right? Did we did we decide? I mean, it will be closed. Yeah, I didn't think so. Maybe night patrol, but they did not say it. Or is it? Does there? You guys do alarm? know that that there are faculty who patrol the campus. So if you are caught inside the manor, you will get in trouble. But that's only if people go in the manor looking. So maybe we need to make sure that we don't have any lights on at the time for them to see us inside. Why would we have light? Well, how how we don't see. You do not. Well, I mean, see. I can I can see just fine, but you know I know that other others no. can't. Can you not see in the dark? Probably not. Custom lineage. <laughs> how, uh, Even though it is an option. I don't think I took it as a feat. Mm. How do you uh, do anything? Torches. But it is so obvious if you need to um, steal something or get some wet work done. Some wet work? Yes, it is usually at the dark. What? <sighs> Suddenly the night before comes to you. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> I feel like we need a code word for like like wet word? Ma mama and papa stuff. Uh dauphin? Dolphin. Dauphin. Like dauphin moi? D uh, mm. like uh um well, it was my nickname. Uh, it was their uh, petit dauphin, little prince. Uh dauphin. All right. Mainly picked it because it sounded like dolphin and it is a French word. <laughs> like, you feel so you're prune feathers. You feel a tension across your body, Del, it's as you feel Mama like kind of embrace you, mm -hmm. and only in your mind, and it's very clear that it's only in your mind. It's like, why have they began to view you differently? What have you been telling them? And for the first time in a long time, you get a sense that she might be getting upset with you. Um, I, I don't know. I didn't notice different treatment. I she don't know either. And she kind of like fades from <laughs> as, as she's fading, obviously. They told me out of their sadness. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I guess I like this idea of being able to practice at least. Mm -hmm. That way we can sharpen our skills. Right. But I mean, I got to get to class. Uh, so uh, after classes for that day, you can go to the, you know, like practice annex, which is kind of like the hollow deck, but with magic. Uh, and you can set up the parameters. What parameters would you like to set up for <laughs> this test? You have to tell them to the attendant. Obstacle course. Obstacle course. Okay, an obstacle course. All right. Um, uh, low light. Low light or dark? Dark. dark. Okay. How many of you have dark vision? Two. Two? Okay. So will you need light sources? Uh, no, we, we're going... No. We'll maybe just have them available in case we decide to use right, them. I'll add two lanterns to this. Thank you. Yes. Um, dangers. Uh, uh, mild. Okay. Oh, uh, 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 we uh, a, a, a patrol. Okay. Like you know, like Gal it's it's sorry, we should are... there be locks that need to be overcome? Um Oh that can be fun. Yeah. We are mm -hmm. doing uh Should I any particular place? Well in uh beginning in Comancy there was a story we were going over uh mm -hmm. creation of a uh, manor house. Okay. So maybe like the Dapplewing Manor. Do you think that would be a good approximation of uh of Yeah, I think you guys need to find a different space to practice and I will double the patrols for Dapplewing. 
trying not to make it that obvious. <laughs> I was trying to come up with what class do I have that I could be like? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> for, uh, I love how you three just stood there and watched Dill lead you down. Well, because I was trying to think of it. <laughs> Couldn't get it out fast enough. My brain short circuited. I'm like, you get the feeling. I got the vibe. People like, try this every fucking year. I know they year. do. <laughs> and, did we have like a uh, no? Wait, let's, no, no. let's go. We, we gotta go. What do you Bye. think? We don't get to study at school. We don't get to try any. No practicing. No studying. Yes, we did the flower. I'll sign you up for something. something. Uh, Ten a.m. tomorrow. Okay. We just sounds, no. I would like to practice. Great. Or beginning computational magic. No, I set you up something that'll work. Yeah. Oh gosh. Well, I'm pull afraid. me out of it. I don't want it. All right. Picky, picky. I'll go. Starts getting annoyed. Hmm. Sir. Computational magic is very hard. Your shoulder, or your arm, because you're going away. You guys go to the practice session. Just well, I will just morning, check right? it out. Mm-hmm. So what, is this is the heights of midnight tonight or no, midnight, midnight tomorrow? tomorrow? Oh, so okay. it's Friday night right now. Um, we set up a practice session for the following morning. I will leave a copy of uh, a mystery novel that I was reading that fits the parameters that I was talking about. <laughs> Which Del was definitely going for the Dabbling Manor, but it was like, yeah, I was reading a heist book to make a study. For this. Make a D twenty roll. Okay. <laughs> I'm not expecting it to work at all, but I do want to leave her with like a little. I have a book. That's the detail. Eight. Of eight. Yeah. Uh, yeah. You hand her a steamy romance that does involve a heist. Yeah. <laughs> I uh, would recommend uh, skipping chapters 13, 16, and 20 if you have a uh, sensitive constitution. Goodbye. <laughs> See you at the end. She immediately turns to chapter 16. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm sorry. I, I think I played our hand. I, I, I think, yeah, maybe we aren't the first ones to to try that ploy. I think that, um, and I mean this as no critique, as it was fully my fault. Maybe do not let me speak in the No, uh, it's, um, that's not your fault. I think. <laughs> gotta get better. And we, yeah, maybe we should have come up with a plan and just yeah. a, a story beforehand. Maybe yeah. that's what we need to do. I just think if students are trying to take initiative and be creative and practice their skills, that they should be allowed to at school. I'll look back. You guys are outside. I know. So. <laughs> I'm still worried. <laughs> Kipper's still worried. Um, okay. Well, a how tiny about... magic ball flies towards you and goes, You seem to be expressing anger. Would you like to talk about it? <laughs> no, because I don't trust this. Do we know what this little you ball is? You seem to be having trust issues. Would you like to talk about it? No. Are therapy balls of common occurrence on the no. campus? <laughs> Like, can I try and I don't like what is this? Can I try and I uh, Quintilius comes running up after it? <laughs> Deactivate what? and it just kind of like, and it like chunks on the ground. Sorry, was, it's just what? something I'm working on in between my classes. Uh, you know right? Several it flies very fast. <laughs> you know that several of the students on campus are suffering from debilitating neurodivergence. And uh, mental illness? No. Yeah. That, that, that would make sense. So I'm working on Therapy XX25 uh, to help with that. But he keeps running off and finding deeply troubled individuals. That is a very nice <laughs> of you, it is. Uh, well, you know, when, when, when I got into therapy, uh, it really helped me. You know, yeah. I, I realized that my mother was distant and controlling and didn't have my best interests in mind and you know so like but we have a much better relationship now and so i would like to bring that to other people i mean you may want to work on this one it didn't it just came up to me didn't find any deeply troubled individual (laughs) player brains going he's gonna need that (laughs) i wonder if maybe this is something i mean um, don't get me wrong i think your endeavor is is noble but 
Maybe that's something that the staff should incorporate in the offerings of the school and not just leave it to one student, but actually... Well, this is just my thesis project. When I graduate, oh. I'm hoping to I'm hoping to mass produce this as a magical item. Well, that would be fantastic. Yeah. Good, no. Best of luck on that. I think that's amazing. Non-canon or story at all, but just like <laughs> black going over Dell's eyes and then going, "Oh, you're going to need it." <laughs> <laughs> oh. Um, but if you could keep it between us, I mean, I have a bit of a reputation, and I, I, I come off. As, oh, of course. Like, being in other people's business. So. No, that of course you I understand. You want people to keep seeing you as aloof. Yes, a aloof and kind of distant. It's it's. My older brother goes here too, and you know, it's, I was always watching. So. Ah. Mm -hmm. Memo is what yeah, I feel you now. Yes, Memo always always watching. Always, yes. always. The ball tries to activate. <laughs> <laughs> Push it down. <laughs> All right, well, I'll catch you guys later. Lovely to see you. Mm -hmm. Bye. Tell Gimbo hello. Wait, Quintilius, do you do you know of a of a of another practice space where a group of people might try out different skills that they're yeah they're right there. He like points to the building you're standing outside we, of. It. We're, they won't let us practice in there. We're kind of not welcome right now. What do you need? Hell. They're not letting us study inside. So we have to come up with another way of studying. I mean, what class do you need help studying? Um, let's say it's more for a... a for <laughs> pulling a string on a doll and having it... <laughs> and <laughs> extracurricular <laughs> activity... Uh -huh. That may not be university sanctioned. We're going to practice pranking. Okay. Then you should probably just prank people. Okay, but if I'm trying it to needs... like get into the dorms, if I'm trying to get into like a... Like... Lock secure, uh, secure. Yeah. So to remind me of one of the other like houses. Like the... Prismart. Prismart. Don't worry. Uh, he... Come with me. He walks into okay. the Melantor uh, practice halls. Um, <laughs> <laughs> <Tilly is> Melantor. <laughs> Excuse me. And she's like, oh, um, uh, Miss, uh, Mr. Uh, Melantor, uh, uh, how can I help you? I seem to be under the impression that the um, practice halls that my uh, grandfather paid for are not <clears throat> used um, to better the education of these students. Well, I, I did make them an appointment. I think it would be in your best interest to do whatever it is they ask, or maybe we need to find a new secretary for the practice space. That's odd. Also, give me that book. And she, like, hands him the book, <laughs> like, and he hands it to you, Del. <laughs> uh, will you then, maybe? She's she's <laughs> not paying any kind of attention. Uh, do we have an understanding? Yes, yes, right away. There you go. You're scheduled for 11 a.m. tomorrow. Thank you. Thank you. And also, do your hair. And she walks out. <laughs> I'm going to walk out after him and be like... Yolnir um, does whatever the this settings version of is. <laughs> I guess bite your thumb at her. I don't know. <laughs> um, Zira is like. <laughs> it's my nice talking to you again. <laughs> Rushes to catch up. Did you do anything else? Oh, no, but that was you. that was thoroughly unexpected. Thank you. Mm -hmm. I appreciate that. If she ever gives you any trouble, just uh, mention me. Uh, all right. If anyone gives you any trouble, you uh. No one me. gives me trouble. I know, but and it's then the... he kind of winks at you a little too long. Ooh. It's, uh, the thought Do you notice this? <laughs> you try to wink back. Don't care. It's fine. Has anyone told you you would make wait to the uh, patron? No, no one has. Oh, you would? Hmm. And he kind of just like walks off. <laughs> Thank you. Bye, Quinn. Have you ever looked about um, 
You may all add one to your Quintilius oh my and gosh, I need to add in Melantor. Fuck you. Yeah. <laughs> I don't have Quintilius. I don't have Quintilius. I had him, but not a member this year. So you can add one. Do I get to add Quintilius? Yeah. Oh, this uh, is a pen. Have you all ever thought about how uh, comparable uh, money and uh, magic are? It's money, it's yeah, money can buy a lot, but that doesn't mean that it's right. I, it's you know, my family's used money in the past to uh, get their way, but whenever I ask my father about it, he always just told me I would understand someday, and then never actually explained anything. So, no, I don't hmm. think about how money affects. I guess I'm not allowed to. Hmm. So perhaps one day there will be a son of feel no how. Quite possibly. Or maybe a uh, smithy. I'm trying to think about how it's Sorry, it just froze oh, on yay. the stream. But uh, it's something's active on this side. Yeah. Just for it's just green and everything. Right. Weird. It's we're jumping. Everyone in the stream is jumping, jumping. No, no. Anyway, I don't think anyone's watching, watching anyway, so we'll continue on for the YouTube viewers um, and, and the <laughs> podcast listeners and our Yay! podcast listeners who are our new favorite people that we knew about the entire time. <laughs> people <laughs> watching us. Really? It's just slow. Oh no. no. Anyway, so, uh, uh, Virgilius leaves, you guys kind of, like, do your evening activities, um, do you guys get drunk again? No. 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 <laughs> Absolutely not. <laughs> I think maybe Del walks in with the bottle and is like, we had fun last night! Okay. <laughs> <laughs> no, I think if you want, Delner would, like, have a couple drinks with you. Oh. Yeah, well... He's right. picking up on cues from other people, mm-hmm. so it's kind of like a matter of, like, if you have a glass, he's going to have a glass. If you have another glass, he's going to have another glass. But when you stop, he's going to stop, because that's that means that it's done. Yeah, Whatever the ritual is. is. <laughs> I will go get us two cups. I'll do it, because I need to come. Do you want to take a brief break? No, I'm okay. okay. Oh, I want to try and get through as much as this is possible. Sorry. Let's have one to celebrate, and only one because we have important study session. We got training in the morning, yeah. Training. That's fine. Yes, studying for walking into the building. Let's maybe not oh, say exactly. that real loud. You're, you're in this dorm room. I know, but still, I'm cautious. <laughs> Shh. Okay. Who was this? <laughs> Oh, Bruno. yes. Bruno, that's right. Oh my god, I forgot about Bruno. How big is Bruno at this point? He freezes one we of the cups about... and he starts licking at it. <laughs> uh, Bruno. Bruno. Oh, I forgot about Bruno. We should... Yeah, we don't talk about him. <laughs> we sure don't. So. You make <laughs> inspiration, Zero. Yeah. <laughs> you can take inspiration. If you volunteer to distribute, that's okay. Um, so we're gonna skip to the next day and you show up for your practice session. The secretary who is still on duty today. Um, oh my gosh. Uh, she is incredibly like right this way. Uh can I get you guys any refreshments before you begin? No, or uh, do you have a time frame or um oh, uh, what will be the losing conditions of your simulation? I didn't get that from you yesterday. Uh, standard losing conditions, spotted on patrol, uh, making too much noise. Mm-hmm. Um, Basic B and E kind of stipulations. For for research purposes, of course. Of for course. research purposes on human conditions and tendencies, and as well as humanoid. No need to explain tendencies. anything to me. I am but a humble servant. Did you get to the haste? Yeah, I'll offer the book back. Oh, no, thank you. Oh, oh okay. Um, so she lets you in, and it is, like, so, to not lose her job, it is a manor. It is not Dapplewigman. Sure, that's um, fine. 
Not, uh, but uh, so you guys can make a series of stealth checks to see if you pass the simulations. <laughs> As we go in and before we actually start it, guys, I kind of feel real bad. About what? Well, about the fact that like she got her job threatened because, I mean, we're trying to break <clears throat> into a building and then get practice for breaking into a building, and she rightfully, as a staff member, maybe doesn't help students break into a building. But now that she is helping us break into a building, she might lose her job, and so now she's putting it on real thick. Oh, should we go back in Kenzo? No, no, no I mean, I just... Voice through your minds. I could erase her. I just think it would... No. Wait, is it all our minds, or just... Oh. No. No, I think that's fine. I'm, I'll get over it. That's fine. I'm okay. I'm okay. Not so good. Not Anything good. that threatens Dale shall be dealt with. Well, no, I don't think it's... And the shadows be around Dell be dealt to grow. grow. <laughs> Del, just like still doing that contemplative thing. I think we'll just not question it anymore. Well, that's the thing. Yeah, she's no longer a threat. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. Right. But, she's uh, no longer a threat. I mean, if it is better, we can find another way to practice. We can uh, or, release her from her responsibility. We're already here. It's God, okay. Um, it's okay. It's all right. Yeah. Let's okay. just let's just let's, let's go. Let's begin. Let's go ahead. Oof. But okay. if it is bad, I don't want to. No, it's just um, I'm just gonna have to. I'm gonna take that with me in the future. Is all. That's it. What are we doing? Stealth checks. And if you're wearing armor, make sure you roll with disadvantage. Yeah, I still don't know how to make my mage armor happen, but that's okay. Wearing armor. I don't know if I've got armor yet. Well, only if it has disadvantage on the armor. Oh, I just wear hide. I don't think hide has disadvantage. I think so. Okay. Twenty-one. Seven. Fourteen. So the first round, uh, Zero gets caught almost immediately. He falls through a window. Kipper? Kipper. 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 <laughs> Why is that always my character? You can never remember the names. It's hers I can't remember yeah. right now. <laughs> it was Give me a name tag. <laughs> Still wear a name tag. Zira and Jeltra. I think that's why I'm thinking like she's Zira. Yeah. I'm not Jeltra this time. Uh, no, it's Jeltra and Zindi Zira. <laughs> Here we go. Nice. And then... I am neither of those. I am Kipper. <laughs> so the simulation resets. Go ahead and make another set of self checks. Okay. Sixteen. Fifteen. Uh, twenty-one. Uh, the second time you go through, Zira steps on a floor panel, and uh, spears shoot out from the walls, uh, stabbing him. And you go <laughs> for a second before it resets, and then you're just sitting there like. <laughs> that was cool. I mean, uh, what are you yeah. okay? Do you think that do you think that Delwing Manor is gonna have baby cramps like this? It might. I mean, it's better to be prepared and not need it. I got a nineteen and that nineteen and a one. Not one. Nine. Oh, for your stealth disadvantage. Uh, so the second time around, uh, Zira is smothered to death by a rug. <laughs> <laughs> Gasping and southern. <laughs> yes, yeah, All right, go again. I rolled a seventeen that time. I am becoming one. And you guys can stop at any point because these are horribly traumatizing experiences. <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> Eleven. Same. Six. Uh, Thirteen. Zira walking through the kitchen picks up uh, like something off of the cabinets, uh, and then the cabinet the the. Uh, you mean Zira or Kipper? Kipper, uh, Kipper. What do you call food? The pantry, right? Yes. You go and you grab a piece of bread out of the pantry, and then the pantry eats you. Ah! Just like just teeth, like grab you. Head rolls along the ground, and then the simulation rolls to restart. Oh. Mimic yes. <laughs> She did read oh, the did book. Oh, good. She did read the book. <laughs> Do we get anything as we keep practicing and practicing? No, these are just for fun. Oh, we're going to get like a plus one. And then if you guys can all succeed before giving up, then there might be a reward. Have okay. Fun. I mean, I'm still a good deal. But sometimes you just have to keep trying wands not knowing what the reward is. <laughs> the 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 fuck you, Jake. <laughs> the reward was gold. <laughs> and the friends we made along the way. Yeah. 
You guys did make friends. Hey, uh, what's the month? 12. Oh, 16. 21. Um, Zero, you get caught again. Kipper! Kipper! Kipper, Kipper you get caught again. <laughs> I stay away from the pantry, but now the oven is mad at me. No, no, you just get caught. Oh, okay. Like, you you like look out the window, and there's, like, a patrolman there. He's like, hey, what's your name? Hey. Dang it. 14. 16. 13. Six. Uh, Mama gets uh, upset halfway through the simulation because you're being attacked by something, and she just, like, rips all the magic out of the room, and you have to go and get it reset. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, the, uh, the room shut off. Oh, okay. I can reset it for you. Thank you. Too kind. Uh, I might have to get you a different room. This one doesn't seem to be working. <laughs> okay. Have you tried turning it on and turn it on again? I don't know if it'll ever turn on again. Oh. <laughs> All right. Two more rolls, guys. I failed that time with a six. I got six two. Sixteen. Twenty two. Uh, this time you guys are fighting and uh, it's dark, right? And you're trying to go without light this time. And so you guys both turn and stab each other with your swords. <laughs> oh. I actually would smack you in the face with a mace. Yeah, and I would just have my sword at my side and turn and like dig it into your shoulder. And then it resets. Okay. Two more. It's up yeah. to you guys. You can go as long as you want. Uh. That 20 for a 24. 4. 12. 8. Technically, it's cracked. Well, um, basically, um. you you lose the rest of them, and then the simulation resets, and <laughs> they don't tell you why. Don't worry about it. <laughs> I got the... Oh, my hair is... I got ne the... Never again. <laughs> I got the uh, amulet. Is that... We're going for lemon now? We are. Wait, no. what happened that round? What no. happened to you two? Never. <laughs> Don't worry about it. Oh, so I will give you, uh, for the nat 20 and getting the actual amulet, I will give you two student die that you can use. Yes. Um, nice. Uh, for, for stealth. <laughs> Ooh, I'm getting worse. Stealth or investigation. 18, you but I'm going to your knowledge. Cues, we're not going to do I that. I did one. get a nat 20, but I got an 18 with disadvantage. 12. Five. Sorry, guys. Hipper. Um, you mean zero? 20, 23. Don't. No. Uh, Hipper sees a spider, and then next thing you know, you're standing outside of a burning manor, and then the simulation resets. <laughs> I'm going to have it, to add that to my. Was it pretty? Huh? The fire or the spider? The, well, the, spot. the burning spiders. The spider's dead. That's all that matters. <laughs> oh, I misunderstood. I thought you were enraptured with the spider. You was trying to kill it. That's it. that makes sense. So the woman comes in. Just so you know, we're closing in thirty minutes. Okay. One oh more my last God. What okay. 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 What, what last it? left? You guys have been doing this all day. Yeah. Fifteen. <laughs> <laughs> I need better. Where 14. I, I need better dice. 20 of mine? 21. Maybe. So I'd just like to point out the DC for success is 13. What did you get? Six. Different. Fuck. What happens? <laughs> <laughs> um, I. This time, probably, I think I'm trying to duck a patrol. Like I see one coming by the window. And so I'm ducking down, but then I end up like hitting my head on a table. No, it's, it's just resets. <laughs> so I hit my head on a table and I'm like, ah! <laughs> yeah. So, um, uh, you cannot see any dark? I, I can. <laughs> I was just really nervous about the patrolman outside the window, and so I moved too fast, and I just, I just, I think I just need to breathe. I'm just getting really anxious about it. No, yeah. You need to uh, arrive at the manor for your heist in two hours. Okay. I have I'm an idea. Go home. I'm going to go eat. You were thinking of the fake patrolman as real. Right. So tonight, think of the real patrolman as fake. But then I won't so look at Okay. That could work. Then I won't um, worry about them. The, uh, the, the lady at the front desk gives you your results. 
uh, of the things, and it has like tallies of all your deaths and how many times you were caught and whatnot. I was like, there you go. Thank you. I you only died once. I count the number to the one that we're not talking about, and I scratch it out. <laughs> <laughs> and then I and then put it in my pocket. <laughs> Um, if I could give you some friendly advice, mm. I would not attempt this. <laughs> <laughs> our test, our academia test. Yeah, we need to do or school. Like make a deception check, you cocky asshole. Deception <laughs> <laughs> or intimidation? Deception. I'm trying to help. <laughs> or you can do intimidation. Doing... That's also fine. 19. She goes, yes, of course. Thank you. But she does not believe you. <laughs> goes along with it. Del takes both of her hands in his. Because I just want to say thank you so much for all of your time, patience, and hard work today. It is not unnoticed. Thank you. And as you say that, and you, you genuinely wish to reward her. Oh, oh God, no. comes down your arms and into hers, and you see Black crawl up her arms for a second. Mm. And then she goes, thank you so much. All right, well, you have a good night. Do we see that? Yeah. Yes. I do not know what happened. I'm not sure. And that's part anything. of the problem. I'm going to go. But it would be good. I'm gonna go grab some dinner, guys. I th- I'll meet you back in your room in a half hour before we go. Shouldn't you all eat? You haven't eaten all day. I know. Yeah. I'm just saying. I need to eat. Do you all want to go just grab a bite together at the Bozen? The Bozen Tavern. Sure. I, I mean, or the Fire Joel, either one. Or the Fire Joel Cafe. <laughs> Bozen should... will serve more dinner. Fire Joel's more of a cafe. So we should go to Bozen, make ourselves seen with people, eat. And then we tend to be drunk. This stumbled out, but not drink. Or just that discreetly leave too. after oh, we're yeah. seen in public. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I like cool. that. To the bow's end. Bow's end tavern. Javanesh is there. What can I get for you? Water. <sighs> Water. Are you sure you don't want to fuel up before? Oh, I need some of the swamps, too. <laughs> Remember, if you catch the frog, it's free. <laughs> that guy's... Ten. Ten. You Plus what? catch the frog. Dex. Oh, that's right. Dex. No, because, yeah, it's still, like, what is it, a 19 or something to catch the damn frog? <laughs> that was a very aggressive roll. Sorry, guys. What's on the special table tonight? is perfect. Javanesh. Uh, on special, I have the sneaky surprise. Well, I have one Why of those would too. That be on Stalled. <laughs> is he vegetarian? No. Okay, I'll have that. <laughs> um, he just brings you out like a plate of black foods. It's just dye. Okay. It's like a fruit cheese. It is plate. very fresh. It is just died. Yeah. It just died, yeah. Is it a sneak cookery board? Yeah. <laughs> That's a much better word. <laughs> <laughs> does it give us advantage on our stealth checks? To eat no, this? but it does give you one student die usable only with stealth. Yes. <laughs> okay. So basically, you have 1d4 that you can add to a stealth check for the next 24 hours. Okay. Let me take out a d4. You are my stealthy. Oh, so goodness. Is stealthness. Yeah. All right, Yay. do you arrive at the mandem? Yes. Yes, we, we each very carefully. <laughs> I, still goes, I am so tired from studying. I would like to go to sleep. We All right, can. everyone oh. make a performance <laughs> check now. <laughs> I gotta make it harder. Dead. I'm so sorry. Dell is the tranquil of this group for sure. <laughs> Dead. Can I take a shot and then perform that it made me feel like shit? Uh, you can perform whatever you would like to perform. Yeah. I am. It would still require a performance check. 
16 and joining in with Dell going, ah, oh, I'm beat. Oh. I'm seeing some weird faces. I got a 17. Okay. So. Eight. Eight. <laughs> um, so you make such a scene of like being <laughs> drunk. That we sneak out. That Jeff and she's like, just <laughs> uh huh. <laughs> and then you just loudly talk about how tired you are while not being tired <laughs> while drinking coffee. <laughs> it's just like, oh, I'm bed so tired. Yeah. So tired I am. <laughs> that is why I'm drinking the coffee. Yeah. <laughs> I think it's more tired. <laughs> Oh, goodness. Glug, glug, drink, like, people, drink. like, wave at you, and you're like, bye! <laughs> you know what I mean? Just like, you're normal. See you <laughs> Okay. Uh, so, Kipper, you hear several people is like, <laughs> <laughs> whispering as we leave, I've never been tired before. Was it good? We meet up, maybe. As the bright light of the central campus fades into the verdant grounds of Captain Dapplewing's manor, you see a small group of your peers congregated underneath a massive oak tree in the manor's front yard. Are they 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 dry off? They they show up? Yeah. Like, uh, one of the students gives Javanesh some coins. Um, Never mind. This is it. Daxi Sally Jane is up there in the attic. For years, people have tried to liberate her. For years, they have failed. But we think this year is different. This year, your gifts. You're looking for a pink-haired doll wearing a patchwork tartan dress. Now go in there and become campus legend. If you can bring her back, we'll all pay for your lunches for a week. No, a month. I like that. That's a good idea. Okay. Worth it. Sure. These are all on scholarships, so none of you pay for lunches. But yeah, you say that. nice of you. All right. Um, I'd like to sit for a minute and look and see what the patrols are looking like. Uh, as you like, kind of like, take off. Um, Javanesh will kind of like grab your elbow, Kipper, mm-hmm. and be like, "Hey." Uh, here and he hands you like a glass orb. He's okay. Like, uh, when you get the the doll, if you could bring it to me specifically. All, all right. What is that? What this will do? No, but that's in exchange for doing that. Oh, okay. Do I recognize the orb? Do I know what it does or what it is? Okay. I'll just. Are they around? Do they see this exchange? Sure. Okay. That's all right. All right. I'll put it in my bag or whatever. I do you want to know what it does, bro? You, you, well, I figured you, you would know. I just thought you'd tell me. It's a drift globe. Drift globe. Okay. What is a drift globe? I don't know what a drift globe is. I mean, if you're what, what's do <laughs> drift globe? Right, right. What is that? It, it's kind of like a magic light. Oh. But won't they see it from outside? Do you want it or not? No, I'll take it. <laughs> a magic light. Yes, I mean, I can see just from here. Yeah, we can just... Oh, I, I remember to have something that, that makes light. Oh, drift, okay. You okay. so. Sure. Yeah. Drift, well. Don't stare right into it, it'll mess up your eyesight. What do you mean, as my eye? <laughs> yeah, with these old little too late. Mm. Like staring at the sun during an eclipse. Wow. <laughs> well, uh, but Javanesh, ja- I mean, if we if we bring if we bring Gratchy Sally back to you, um, we we still get credit for of course, bringing of course, her down. Yeah, okay, yeah, bro, not no, I know. But I'm just I'm who just, do you think I am? I don't know. I'm just I'm very cautious right mm-hmm. now. And he said he was tired. And it's Corn just, balls, man. It's been a weird day. We uh, hung out with Quinty Lizard. Jilly's is such a fuck stick. Yeah, he's terrible. Yeah, he's the fucking worst. He's always walking around campus telling people what to do. He's really mean to, uh, like, a couple of friends of mine. Yeah. <laughs> it's his shame. Yeah. Fuck stick is a good thing, right? 
Okay. All right. So you have <laughs> the stairs that lead up to the front porch in front Mm-mm. of you. You guys are kind of like in the street. Okay. So, um, but you do remember that the back decks you mm-hmm. would have to climb up onto. Which door did we leave the pebble in? Uh, one of the back doors. Yes, it was the far, like looking at the back. Sure. Right. Um, I will. Okay. Before we had gone to the back, I wanted to take a look and see what the patrols around the house looked like specifically. Please work with me, guys. Come on. I I think your tray is like. I would like to um, kind of like fly up towards the top of the tree to assist her. Okay. And roll the advantage. Or did you want to roll one? Oh, I was going to give it to you. Okay. Better. Dirty 20. Okay. Um, uh, you don't see a lot of patrols. Okay. Um, but you feel like uh, if you... Like, they are paying attention. So you feel okay. like as long as you don't cause too much damage or leave evidence that you, like, broke in or something, okay. you might be okay. Okay. Because the, the house itself has pretty heavy drapes. So you feel pretty comfortable that using light inside won't be a huge problem. Okay, that's good. I'll convey that to the group. Mm-hmm. That's what I've what I've seen and perceived. All right, I think I think I left the rock in this door specifically. Necessarily, your imprisonment ends tonight. That's right, sassy. I called her scratchy. Yes, you may also be. I'm assuming you're flying up. Um, yeah, I'll fly up to the to the deck. And I'll try and climb over the railing. So as you guys are attempting to climb over the railing, uh, as soon as you land on the deck, you hear a rustling from the two cactus plants. Nope. Getting right down. There. Um, Del? Can I gauge what the wrestling is? No oh, shit. Oh, no, down I go. Well, for initiative. Oh, okay. fuck. <laughs> Everybody here, just tell who Everybody that? is in initiative at this point. Everybody. Damn. Yeah. I'm liking you. Rolling ish. Yeah. Stuck guys. by cactus. Stuck oh. by cactus now. Ow, that hurts. All, All right. right. All right. They get a series of critical hits. What? <laughs> I, uh, I so you mean we get critical hits for that fly rendition? Yes. Well, they just keep screaming, in sync was better, in sync was better, as they stab you over and over again. I, I, don't, I don't know. I don't know what that is. I don't know what's going on. Yeah. And as i breathing my dying breaths, I respond to them, bye, bye, bye. <laughs> bye, bye. Yeah, with his little wing. And the stomp. It was a good dance. And then I cast Fireball on myself. Aww. Sacrifices must be made. Sacrifices yeah. must be made <laughs> to save Sassy Sally. <laughs> <laughs> okay, initiatives. 23. Seven. Got a natural 20. E. Super great. I know. Zero. Yeah. Eight. Yulnir, son of Fonir. Six. Come Six, on. seven, eight. Twenty-three. <laughs> Which is five, and you put that before six. Aww. A five, six, seven, eight. Da, 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 so, starting with twenty-three. <laughs> I love you guys. What do we do? This is just you and so break into the house, seriously. break into the house and steal the cursing doll. Yes. <laughs> yep. Super cereal. Be attacked by cactus. <laughs> I don't think those cactus? are cactus. What are they? Can I identify what they do? They do look scarier than cactus. How high up is the balcony? All right. Uh, it's it's like a good five seven feet, so it will require an athletic strike. Yeah. Okay. So from where I st- and how far up are they from me? Um, you do not have line of sight to them, uh, unless, 
Well, I did say when right before we started that I was going to be trying to climb up. Yeah, unless Dell cries out or something like that, you don't. Okay. You're not even aware that there's danger. Well, then I'm st I'm trying to climb over because I don't anticipate that there's anything happening, and so as my action, I'll try and climb up onto the balcony with Dell. Okay. And or as my uh, not as my action as my movement. As and far as that, I'm concerned, I'm athletic, right? still, so I didn't cry out. <laughs> Athletics. This is like the only creature that doesn't have a hand up here. I'll show you. I'm sorry. What is it? They're need of lights. Twelve. Uh, twelve. Mm-hmm. Uh, that's enough to get up onto the balcony. Woohoo! I would like to, here. if yeah, if possible, I'd like to be like on the railing or something. Yeah, for the back. And then as soon as I see them, what were they called? You don't know. I don't you know what they are. Plants stepping out of pots. Ugh. May you wither in the shade. And vicious mockery okay. to the first one across right in front of Adele. Okay, what kind of save is that again? Wisdom, please. How wise are these guys? Oh, yeah, keep it. These are not good. Okay, good. And four psychic damage. And they have disadvantage on the next attack roll it makes. Okay. Uh, this far one gets to go now. He's going to shoot needles at uh, Dell. The 21 hit? Uh, yes. Okay, that's eight piercing damage. Okay. <laughs> wow. <laughs> okay. So we're learning quickly. Yes. We need to perceive. And then he like throws some of this furniture out of the way to stand next to you. Zira, it's your turn. Um, I'd like to climb up the balcony. Okay, athletics check. <laughs> athletics, you say? Yep. Um, eight. All right. Uh, you fall noisily to the ground. Oh, no. <laughs> Sorry. A piece of the railing coming off with you. And we can't see them up there? Uh, with an eight, you got up enough to see that they are in combat with something. But from down there, we can't see anything? No. no, no. Okay. You could maybe see Kipper, because she's like halfway up. But um, Dale being small, he would be underneath the railing. Okay. That's... Uh, you could use your action to try again. Sure. You're dead to me. <laughs> You're also fucking dead to me. Get up a dice jail. <laughs> I fall again. Oh no. Jeez. All right, Dell, it is your turn. Um, the one that hit me, I will cast Dissonant Whispers on. Okay. So I need a whiz save from him. Where's my P20? One minute six. Okay, so uh He will take uh, 11 psychic damage, but he has to move as far away from me as he can. He's dead. Okay. <laughs> he grabs his head and his own spines as he's grabbing at his head just sink into his flesh. Who falls over. Um, and, and I apologize about this. Uh, could I have used it on the one that attacked me? That yeah, was the one that... Oh... Because yes. the other one's still a disadvantage on his thing. Mm -hmm. So it was like... Um, it doesn't matter. The one that attacked you is also just dead the same way. 11 damage killed it. Yay. Uh, <laughs> so with that, I am going to fly up onto the roof above this spot. Okay. Um, that will be an attack of opportunity. With disadvantage, right? Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. Does an 8 hit? No. She's gonna put you right there. Cause I <laughs> me above on the roof. Yeah. Cool near, son of phone near. Uh I'm gonna climb up. Okay, that extra. Twenty-two. Okay. You hop up. <laughs> I see the cactus moving and I'm like it problem? Yes. 
Hmm. That's no. great. Yeah, I can swing it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, does a 13 hit? Yes, actually. Chink. So that's going to be this much damage. Five damage. All right. You uh, chunk that axe at him. He's still up. I, it connects. I pull it out and go, hmm, problem, right? Yeah, yes. Okay. All right. Oh, wait, no, but this is technically the one that would have been... No, he, he was the 11, so this one should be the 3, so he does get to go. Okay. Sorry. I no, deleted the wrong one, misunderstanding Coulter, so... No worries. Uh, does an 11 hit Fulnir? Uh, an 11 does not hit. Okay. Now it's your turn. Okay. So uh, the only real like attacky thing that I want to try right now is another vicious mockery. I'm gonna hurl more insults at it. It's like you couldn't even shade a snail. And wisdom safe, please. You couldn't even shade a snail. <laughs> He's very hurt. Yay. And then one D four oh, hold on, no, that's for my stealthiness. So I need to do all this one. One psychic damage. He walks over to the edge of the deck and jumps off. Aha! Taking one fall damage. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, I will flutter back down. Um, does anybody have a uh, potion? Um, I am uh, not feeling my best. And there's like blood coming out of oh, me. Also. <laughs> um, I think I have a potion. Healing yeah. word. I can I mm. can heal you a little bit. If it is not too much trouble. No, that's fine. And healing word to Dell. What is that? 1d4 plus my velvet. I'm just going to have roll 20 roll it for me. What are you? It's flipped out. You saw that. I did. <sighs> did you show the game log? Where's the game log? That one. Nothing. Six. 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 Okay. Thank you. Um, better. Thank you. You're welcome. Too kind. I owe you a light deck film. Polnir reaches fine. down and hopes, uh, hoists you up onto the. Thank you. You're good. <laughs> okay, so the hot button is over. Now we just open the door. Yeah. Who opens the door? I'll do it. Uh, you go to open it and it goes. Uh, it should ho maybe hold hold on. It is definitely locked. Well, phone me. Maybe. Uh, should I try? Maybe I'm not strong enough. Uh, I give it a brisk tug, but I'm not it's trying. Locked. It's definitely locked. What's the door made of? Glass. We do not want to cause damage. You guys have already Sorry, done two things that have raised the potential getting caught already. Um, what was that? Uh, he fell noisily, right. and then he flew onto the roof. Oh shit! Oh shit! I if I pull any, I was going to do it again. So maybe I should. <laughs> I mean, I shouldn't have told you. But... I know. Sorry. If I pull any harder on this door, it's going to break. Okay. Uh, I'm kidding. That's what I rocked in. These two's? Hmm? These two's, yes. Yeah. I, don't, I, don't, I don't have any. I don't. Nobody bought it? Why? Why would I have it? I don't know. We're breaking into a building. <laughs> can I, I, just can I try and break in without these two? <laughs> you have your hair up in buns. Do you they use do. pins? Yeah, because they don't have elastics. So you so. could attempt a sleight of hand check. Okay. <laughs> I will do a sleight of hand check to try and unlock the door. Ten. No. Can I? Um, is it me? I try it. Okay. I'm, my hair. One of them's down. Can I attempt to assist him? How? <clears throat> um. Actually, I have pushed the interman. I thought I did. Like, if you could come up with a creative way how you're assisting him, I will allow it. But. I'm holding the door steady. I wouldn't say that's enough. Okay. <laughs> I'm whispering sweet nothing is in taste. Well, fuck. Six. 
<laughs> the worst. Can I try? Energy. You can try, but uh, just so you know, every yep. subsessive attempt is raising the DC. Yeah. Okay, hang on. I think I know what I did wrong, and I would like to assist him because of the way that I had the bobby pins bent before. I'm going to bend them more so that the squiggly part is on the bottom, and you have like the straight part on top sticking out, and then put the other one the other way with the squiggly top at the top so that it'll hit the keys. Okay, Get I'll let you here. roll with advantage. Here's one. Literally the exact same fucking thing both times. Six. All of my dice are getting burned. Okay. Is there another way of getting in? I'm looking up at windows. I'm trying to see if there's any other... Can I see if any of the windows were left unlocked? No, none of them were left unlocked. Actually, I don't know if there are windows. I'm climbing through your windows. Because usually these maps have windows on them. That's true. I'm not seeing any windows. Um, snatching your people up. Exactly. Punch kids. All right. Can I try it? What did you guys learn? Tell me what you learned. I'll, I'll try. Well, I think the tension, mm -hmm. I think I was pressing too hard. Okay. So you might want to go light. Which... Too hard. Oh. I was I'm going to keep an eye while they're doing that. I'm going to keep an eye out for patrols. Okay. Okay. I used the uh, the squiggle end as a top because I thought it might hit the tumblers okay. and the keys. I think you should use straight end for both. Question. A side of hand check is technically an ability check, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. I am going to look at you and. Look at Dell. Mm -hmm. Say, we're going to get this. Now I'm going to do emboldening bond on both of you. So you can add a D4 to this. As long as he's within 30 feet of you. Blah, blah. Okay. So I will say in your mind. Thank you. Because I forgot that they had awakened. <laughs> you had what? Awakened mind where I can talk telepathically to any of you. <laughs> you have to be quieter. <laughs> okay. No, I'm going to try it. I'm going to take the advice they both gave me. Get it. I'm going to get my great axe and use it as a bump. Okay. And try to bump. We'll say you have a dagger. Thing. How's that? Sure. <laughs> you have a dagger. With so you have advantage. Dagger. You have the D4. Uh, and then also in the back of your mind, you hear Mama's voice. No one else seems to hear it. And she goes, would you like to be the hero? Yes. So you're accepting? Oh shit. No, actually. <laughs> I, I go, he realizing what it is that that's <laughs> no. <laughs> Plus your D4. Plus my D4, Steph cocked. Why you rolling two D4? Because I have a student die. For a sleight of hand specifically? No, that was for oh, stealth. For stealth. <laughs> Can I re-roll the cock die? Yeah, of course. I'm not a monster. Uh... Before you give me the number, mm -hmm. the voice comes again. It says, you're about to fail. Would you like to succeed? No. What did you roll? 12. All right. You don't get it open. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Um, okay, maybe I can try uh, the windows upstairs. No, no windows. There's no windows in the whole house? I don't think so. Like I'm saying, like I see no windows on the map. Can we try a different door? <laughs> I mean, the other doors would be back to down to the north. Wait, we <laughs> talked before about there being heavy drapes. Yeah, that's what I had said because I didn't yeah. see any windows, but I'm looking at the map and I'm looking at the notes and it lists three outside doors as the only entrances. It doesn't list any windows or anything. Okay. Okay, give me those big... Okay. I mean, if we... <clears throat> like a window, can somebody fix it? I do not have a way. I don't have a way to fix it. So, so many. I will fly over to the next one. 
And I'm, can I do a perception check to look for patrols or anybody that might be watching and observing? Yeah, sure. Okay. I'm just doing a little hop, skip, and a jump. Over to this one? Yeah. With my, my there is no, silent... There are two doors on this one. Okay. I'm going to tentatively just try the first door. Can you scroll so? Okay, go ahead. Um, not not picking it, just seeing if it locked. Okay. Okay. Wait, okay. I think this one was one of the doors that I had left. The rock on. Oh, okay. Maybe because this was not. I think it was the no, third it was one. This door. But I, we can't see that. It's okay. <laughs> okay, nope. It was the door you were trying. Was Damn it. You left the rock in. Crap. When I fail at that one, I will go to the other one. Okay. Um. As you uh, start walking over to the other one, the pl- pots rumble. Oh, good. no. I'm going to fly back to the other space as fast uh, as I You can. are in initiative, my <gasps> friend. Do we see oh. them? Okay. Now you. Now you will do nice. <laughs> but we're using the same initiative mod? Uh, initiative you guys order. can choose whether you want to do that or not. Mine's much better this time. Mine's okay. worse than what I had before, but I don't mind. Okay, new initiatives. Nope, it's even worse. I'm the only one that rolled better. Yep. yep. I rolled better. I'm sorry. <laughs> okay, in, uh, Kipper. 15. Zero. Eight. Okay. Dell? 17. Julie? 5. Descending. Um, as you are on this balcony, uh, these kind of like plant-like things that are bright purple uh, start loosening themselves from their pots and kind of turning to you with like a hiss. It is your turn. Okay, I will go. <laughs> and I will back away from the one that I'm in front of. <laughs> I'm leaving. Goodbye. Okay, it does get an attack of opportunity against you. Yeah, I'm still going to go and float out just to just beyond the balcony. Or like just at the, the yeah, just beyond the railing of the balcony. Thank you. Uh, there. Does a nine hit you? No. Okay. Um, so once it's attacked, I will hex it. Uh, so these don't look um, as nearly as like humanoid as the other ones. So you get the very strong suspicion that if you just fucked off, these wouldn't follow you. Okay, I'm going to go back to the group then. Is there a third balcony? There is. Damn all the way over here. here. Okay. Okay, so uh, bad things. There's also the front door. The things not to be over there. Do you you want plants? to try... Uh, you can yes. see them kind of like reaching from the other balcony. Do you want to try uh, the front door or the last one? I mean, we're already on the side uh, Mansion, why not? The last one has more of those cactuses. So we kill more uh, light, but I would rather wait until you are over on that balcony to uh, approach. Uh, if we... How high is the roof from here? It's a two-story building. Mm. So it's like 10 feet up? Mm. How far is, away is, is the other building? The other balcony? Um, from what exact? Yeah. About 65, 70 feet. From me right now? Oh, from you right now? Yeah. Uh, which balcony? The, the one with the fungus or the far, far? The far, far one. Uh, 80 feet. Yeah. Uh, I don't know. 
Oh no. All I have to say is this uh, Lord General, whatever wing, he needed to invest in Windows. This is very dreary. <laughs> <laughs> I can't imagine. Again, I, it's like there's no Windows on the map anywhere. <laughs> Even as somebody that was raised in the uh, wink wink underdog, I have to say that your light really pulls together a room. You could, it's just a glass door. We don't have a way to fix it. We, we don't least... have a way to fix it. That's surely going to alert people that we're here. Yes. I don't think I want to break the glass. Are there any... Well, I mean, we're not in an issue. We're you not in an come issue. back tomorrow. But that has been the challenge. Um, the challenge is to get the doll. They didn't say get the doll tonight. We could at least try the front door. We could at least try the front door. Are there, are there any, like small openings or um like drainage pipes passageways can you get like, in through a small just opening just hold it just stay with me for a minute what, tell me oh, what there. you want to do i have a gray bag of tricks okay and if i roll certain animals they might be useful roll me what animal you get and then we'll go from there Okay, I've got a boar. <laughs> On the balcony? A boar just suddenly... <laughs> 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 Quiet. <laughs> Roll another seven. And a, reach my dire wolf. <laughs> the balcony is getting... Really, really full. <laughs> and a giant rat. Okay. How a giant is giant rat? About the same size as you. <laughs> I wanted a weasel. Kippel, may I ask uh, what your plan is here? Get rid of them now because that's not a okay, but then, Can you unsummon them? Tell them to go. A giant rat is small. Well, but that's what I'm saying. Like, it's not small enough to fit through a drainage pipe. So it's me size. <laughs> yeah. Um, so tiny. Do you need me to? And I pull no. up the axe. Do you, Turn what away. countenance are you taking when you do that? What do you mean? Are you threatening? Basically, is what? Oh no. Okay. I'm offering a few. All right. They you, Boar, I want you to run in that direction away from the house and distract as many people as possible for as long as you can. Go! Make an animal handling check. I, I'm, I can tell it what to do on a bonus sure, action command the creature. You need, to, you need to, like, it is a very stupid animal. <laughs> you can tell it what to do. Sure. You can use a bonus action to command how the creature moves and what action it takes on its next turn, or give it general orders such as attack your enemies. You're telling it to go and be a distraction. Eight. Eight? Uh, the boar goes, mm, and runs right through the glass door, and then through the house, and then bursts through the front door, and goes <gasps> squealing down the street. <laughs> and you hear several students go, what the hell? There's a giant boar attacking Devil Wing Manor! <laughs> <laughs> okay, so maybe tomorrow night. <laughs> I just climbed down and started heading to the storm. Well, upside, it now looks like a boar bust into the house. <laughs> yeah, but people are going to start converging. Well, but Winter Bloom has wild animals all the time. Okay, goodbye! <laughs> Jump off the balcony and flutter <laughs> off into the dark. <laughs> so you guys come back the next night? Oh, gosh. <laughs> so you guys are good to get home, right? Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> next night's Sunday night. We have class Monday. Yes. So you guys come back the next night and there's plywood. I didn't say that. Yes, I'm coming back. back the next night. I didn't say I come back. You're not going to come back? I don't know, man. How are we supposed to get in? Well, I'll come back. I was about to describe it. So where the glass door was before is now just plywood that's just gently hammered in. So there's no lock anymore. So it's much easier to remove and just put back into place. And so to an outside observer, it will just look like 
the door is still barred. Okay. I'm so, uh, in the interim, like if we're in their room, I'm so sorry, guys. I thought that was going to work a lot better than it did. And I didn't, I think, I'm still getting used to this, this gray bag of tricks. And then I didn't know that a boar was going to come out. And then when it did, I was just really worried. It's like, how can I use this? And it just, it didn't work out. I'm, I'm surprised. I'm really sorry. The boar got through Fulnir. It bowled through. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. It's I'm going to bed. Okay. And look, if you play your plan close to the gist, uh, you will not know until the surprise hits. Exactly. Yes. Right. I just like, why are we trying so hard for this? Yeah, it is fun. It's a little defeating. I kind of... Javanesh is like, not that incredibly good looking. But he's... (laughs) It's It's not about Javanesh, it's about... About making a mark and doing something while you're at university and and doing something stupid that bonds you with your friends. It is a it is like Mama always says: when you are disemboweled, pick up and try again. All right, I'm I'm going to bed. <laughs> yeah, and like curl okay. up in a ball. All right, well, pick up your guts, show them in. Do Here it again tomorrow. Try. All right. And Gilner will go to bed very defeated. If we, when we get there and see the plywood, Del's first response is to turn to Kipper and go, oh, long game. <laughs> That's exactly what I was thinking. <laughs> All right. We get back. The front door has plywood on it. The back door. The front door door is just damaged, so they've put, they've patched the front door. Okay. So you bust through the front door. Yeah. But the lock on the front door is broken, so it's just kind of like a little padlock. Um, And then the back door is just the plywood. Okay. So there's no lock. Because it was a glass door. door. Okay. Okay. (laughs) Got it. All right. Well, here we are again. And there was an announcement that uh, to be careful around campus at night, as there seems to be some wither bloom campus animals that were running amok the night before and caused damage to the Dapplewing Manor. Yep. Yeah. Oh, shame. <laughs> so sad. Darn it. Wither bloom, shame on you. <laughs> wither shame. It's a shame. Wither and shame. Okay. So, uh, Fionio. Mm-hmm. Would you mind? Uh... Oh, I can I can do that. Gently. Strength check, or you can use athletics. Either one. Okay. I mean, they're the same. Athletics is probably higher. Seventeen. Seventeen. Yeah, you get it out relatively quietly. Yeah. Okay. Oh, so that means that we are rested. Yes. yes. Thank goodness. I know. I'm like, oh, we'll rest. All right, and I'll pull out my bag, my gray bag of tricks. I'm like, we don't want to use this unless we really need it. But just in right, just in case. <laughs> okay. And I hook it back on my belt. Uh, and make sure we put the wood back in front of the window. Uh, so you put the wood back. Um, it doesn't have to be perfect because again, anyone who's walking by in the dark is just going to see that the wood is there. Sure. Uh, right. So you enter into the manor itself. Uh, this hall is lined with four exquisitely carved marble busts set on gilded pedestals. The abstract busts are all represent beautiful androgynous figures bedecked with jewelry carved into the stone, or with a single twelve foot long fur stole wrapped around the shoulders of all four statues. A single stole is wrapped around all of them. Mm-hmm. Okay. Interesting. Okay, very quiet. You need to go up. Right. And those, Where's the stairs? That is, uh, that goes up. Is that what they told us? Yes. Did we learn that last time? The stars did tell you that the, the stars will teleport you okay. up to the stars on the second floor. Cool. Let's do that. So, not searching the first floor at all? Well, she, they said she was in the attic. Oh, I'm just asking. Yeah. Yeah. Boop. What do you think? So you're yeah. now on the second floor. Okay. Now we must go up again. 
C14. Mm, hallway. <laughs> Yay! Okay. There are, there's no lights in here. No. Okay. So but there's no windows. So, so I'm going to take my Strixhaven pendant out and tie it onto my mace. Okay. How much light does that get out of? 10 foot bright light and then 10 foot dim light past that. Yay! Is I think good? because we're all using the same map, I don't know if this will even show up, but it's okay. Yeah. Is, uh, I see it. Yeah. Is handy as this is, have you can to tell the LASIK? I don't like stuff like that. Okay. All right, you're in a long hallway. Mm hmm. All right. Um, we're in it for the long hallway. We are. <laughs> Or stairs <laughs> or another teleported thing. I'm right. going to be looking Maybe. up at the ceiling trying to find a pull down to the attic. Oh, okay. That's a good idea. Uh, make investigation checks and then let me know if you guys go into any of the rooms. Um, I want to listen at the doors. At okay. the first door. This one? Yes. I am focusing on watching for anyone approaching. 21. 21? And it's perception since I'm listening, right? 15 for me. 12. Um, Fonier, son of Fonier. Mm -hmm. uh, if somebody wants to bring light over here. Zero. Zero. Over, over here. You find a secret door. <gasps> da, 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 da. But I'm I'm happy that we're sticking with the Zelda motif tonight. <laughs> hey, listen. Secret doorway. Woohoo. Oh. Uh, where what are we Uh it seems to be a structural pillar in the center of the house. But uh he finds by removing a partially already removed kind of like piece of it, there is an entrance that leads into a stairway. Mm. It goes up. Mm -hmm. Nice. Is your light not easier no? If you are near your secret eyes. Well done. It's great. You have a touch of the memory on you. Uh, there's also at the base of the stairs another teleportation circle. Oh. No, we it know goes down. The stairs go up. Let's take the stairs Let's and leave the stairs. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. yeah well. As you Let's exit out onto the attic, um, this cramped attic holds oddities, oddities considered too strange to display on the manor's main floor. An adult-sized riding toy resembling a rock on a spring, a fine dress with wings made of bones, and a display shelf holding dozens of dolls are among the curiosities here. Do we know? Oh, we we did get a description of um, Sassy Sally. Sassy Sally. Yeah. She had pink hair and a, a pink tartan dress. Pink. Yes. Um, so as you enter into this area, however, the dress animates. What? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Her dress? Lovely. Uh, no, the, the dress. Uh, a dress form. A fine dress with wings made of bones oh, animates gosh. and attacks you. Oh. <laughs> Delicious. Uh, hello. <laughs> well, perhaps we do not need to. Okay. <laughs> well, that was shit. Well. Okie dokie. Only is on a 12. Zira. 14. 14 for Zira. Just slowly working our way up there. Uh, <laughs> step. 19. Order, didn't you know? 19. And nope. Kipper. 7. Oh. Oh, there it is. <laughs> I went backwards. We, we're coming around. Going full circle. Go around. Still you. <laughs> okay, I am going to cast Hex on the dress. Oh, okay, okay. 
Drex is now hexed. Is it a hexadecimal? It is a hexadecimal. I was going to say, say hex to the dress, but... Mm. Yes, Aww. I like that. <laughs> Del did say hex to the dress. <laughs> okay, does an 8 hit? Uh, it's a dress, come on. No. Fuck! Okay, I'm going to go ahead and run behind uh, Zero. <laughs> and I hexed uh, the dress's dexterity. Uh, that is easier. Does the dress seem particularly formidable? Um, it is hard to say. You have never fought a dress before. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, it's little like token looks bloody. The the token is for a quadrone because that's the stat he uses, but it is a dress. Okay. Look it up. No, just to see what a quad. Okay. Well, but it's not. I know that, but I'm curious what it is. I'm kind of curious if they have a handout. I don't know what that is. Um, can I get a wisdom saving throw? Can I get a dress? Yes. Is it a wise dress? It has a ten. I got a ten. Mm-hmm. Uh, okay, and that's one. I'm casting a uh, holy dead. Wait, am I casting holy dead? Hold on. Yeah, because only I can hit it. Two damage. Yes. All right. Yes. Rip your seams. It seems to reel from that. Fulnir, son of Fulnir. Does it look bad? Uh, two damage doesn't look bad. Ever. Okay. <laughs> I mean, on a commoner. Well, and for me, I, I'm kind of wanting to lean more into how I think about HP the and the fact that it's... Like the killing blow kills it, but it, you don't actually have wounds up until then. But phone here, phone here. Uh, I will run up to it. Okay. And slice into it with my axe. Are you raging? No, it's not pissed me off yet. <laughs> but it's a dress. It's coming after you. Yeah, it's inconvenient. Not but quite ugly. Enough. I'm gonna shred yeah. it and then turn it into something else. Say rage to the dress. <laughs> Does a seven hit? Rage against the dress. Seven does not. I somehow fucking miss a dress. It is it's very light and. It's but also its turn. Mm. Uh, it floats to the far side of the room, so you may make an attack of opportunity if you wish. I do. Oh no. Hey game. guys, we're nice and clumped together. Nice fireball range. Twenty-three to hit it. Yeah. Okay. Take it. Uh, four. Oh, those are spells, you silly barbarian. <laughs> silly barbarian spells are for wizards. For seven damage. Nice. It is crazy being back at low, low level again when, like, seven is really good damage for us. Oh <laughs> like... my gosh. Well, and it would have been nine if you didn't. Yeah. Uh, okay, so, uh, full near, 15? To hit? Yeah. Sure does. Uh, four damage. Uh, 21? Yep. Uh, three damage. Uh, 20? Yeah. What kind of damage? Six damage, piercing. 19? Yes. Four damage, piercing. As it literally wings flap and sharp shards of bone hit each of you. Ooh! <laughs> 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 Melt. And that brings us to Kipper. Okay. Um Kipster. Kip, 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 Alright, I want to look and see. Ashley Kipton. I will not tolerate that disrespect. Okay. How dare you throw us a bone? Um, and I will cast Tasha's Hideous Laughter. Your seams. That's it. Your seams are crooked. Okay. I'm gonna, you're going to laugh and rip at the seams. And your hands are afraid. Eight? Nope. Okay. Okay. What happens to this? So thing? it perceives everything as hilariously funny and falls into fits of laughter. Um, it's now prone and incapacitated, unable to stand up for the duration of the spell. 
at the end of each turn of its turns, each time it takes damage and each time it takes damage, it can make another wisdom save. Okay, so the dress is on the floor undulating in mirth? Yes. <laughs> the target has advantage on the saving throw if it is triggered by damage and um, the spell ends on a success. And then Dell, it's your turn. Dell curses <laughs> and voila! And like then uh, shoots another Eldritch Blast at it. Okay, so it will be disadvantaged because it is prone. <laughs> Sorry. It's okay. It's better to have it in the position you have it in. Okay. We put chaos. Got an 18 and a 2, so it's a 7. Not hit it. Zero. Um, I even pulled out a very bad French curse word for this. <laughs> uh-huh. Actually, that one is really bastard, but there, I thought it was a different word. <laughs> what? We're learning languages on this channel. It's, it's great. I thought I thought I used that one. Oh. Instead, I used that one. Um, wisdom uh-huh. saving throw. Wisdom saving throw. And actually, I want to get up next. Fourteen. Time. Fuck you. I do nothing. I am this. Okay. Yes. Put me on. I am best friend. <laughs> Just Let me wear your rest. skin. <laughs> That's me. I will be Phonier, son of Phonier. I am now going to rage because I'm pissed off that it hit me with stra- scraps of bone. Uh, and I'm going to... Oh, I'm already at it. Swing recklessly. You don't need to. It is problem. You already have advantage. Oh, then not recklessly. <laughs> responsibly. Yes. Please swing responsibly. Please. Because uh, attacks made within five feet of the creature. Get Double advantage. one phone <laughs> Perfect. Yeah, kids, swing your axe responsibly. No swinging and driving. Here's the damage. Uh, 21 to hit. That will hit. 15 damage. Woo! Um, you hack into the dress with your axe, just screaming at the dress. And then as you are hacking into it, it starts to fray. And before long, it is literally just dust in the room. As it starts to fray, I'm, oh, I'm going to tell it, I don't know where he was a poop sock. <laughs> there is not enough left of it to wear. Is it poop sock? Not where you think. <laughs> <laughs> Woof. Right. Where the hell is this doll? And Among the dolls them. on the display shelf, you very quickly find Sassy Sally Jane. Okay. I will go and... Can I detect magic? I'm going to cast detect magic and see if there's anything magical around, or I'm just being very cautious. Fiona, that was terrifying. Thank you. Uh, what is it? Detect magic upstairs. Um, Sally has a mild magical aura. Okay. Um, and a couple of things in here do, but nothing scary. Okay. Can I tell what kind? Sassy Sally has a slight. It's basically illusion. Okay. But you you were told that like she has a magical enchantment where she okay. says things. So. Got it. Okay. I just don't. I want to make sure that she's not gonna like turn alive on us or like it's the wrong one. I think we keep putting her in the bag. That's a good idea. No one wants to press her hand to see what she says? Absolutely oh, I not. I do. Okay. Well, well, you were coming down from Rage, so I don't know if they would give you access to her right away. Probably not. Can we do it outside? Well, well, oh, we, we, we gotta give her to Javanish. We, we can do this first. Right. No, that's what I'm saying. We've got some time before we before take her we, to Before Javanish. we give to... Yep, that's right. Breathe Before through it. Get to Javanesh, I, I want to hear it insult someone. Okay. That's fine. Roll d6. One. What a second. Really? In those robes? <laughs> <laughs> He's not even wearing He's robes. He's about to <laughs> I kicked that dress of ass in these robes. Really? In those robes? No, try again. Two. G R O S S. Gross. Two. 
G R O S S. I think it's broken. Gross. He's repeating the okay. same one. No one believes that's chocolate. Mm. <laughs> it is chocolate. <laughs> Three. Calling you. I heard you snack on owlbear pellets. They are high in fiber. This make your heart. Quick, let's get out of here. Whoever made these is not very offensive. I think he's been here for a while. Sitting behind, uh, since you were looking specifically yeah. for dangers, sitting behind Thassy Sally Jane was another doll. Okay. Um, this one was uh, wearing a suit and adorned with a large white mustache and a monocle, and it holds a purse in its hand. Does it give off magic? No. This, what's this one? It would be him with be game for. I know, but this one's weird. It's it was behind Sassy Sally. Do you look inside the purse? How it's, big is the purse? It's it's like a coin purse. Okay. Sure, I'll look in it. There are twenty five gold pieces inside the coin purse. It is. We are here where they keep things that are too freaky to be shown. That's true. I mean, oh my God, Sassy Sally. Let's go. Okay. Yeah, all right, all right. And I'll close the purse and I'll I'm just gonna tilt him sideways. So you don't take it? I don't take it. Okay. Uh so you guys I'm gonna regret this, I know it. You guys sneak out the way you came. Um on the way Deck down the, the yep. stairs. So can we use the little teleport port from the top of the stairs to get to the bottom of the stairs? Yeah. Yay. Well, we won't go to the bottom of the stairs. That's the first floor. No, but I mean, like, this one will take us to the bottom of the spiral staircase, right? Hopefully. Wherever the bottom of the spiral staircase, I thought. I'm, I may be misunderstanding. No, well, I don't know if it goes all the way to the bottom. Mm -hmm. That's a good point. Uh, so there is also a magic circle in here that takes you to the base of the stairs for the, the secret door. On the second oh, floor? This... On the second floor. Oh, okay. So I thought the search kept going down. No. Okay. Okay. All right. Let's do it. So we'll uh, make down. stealth checks as you come down the stairs. I thought we were taking the teleportation though. Either way. Like when you come back down to the first floor. Okay. Remember, you do have uh, inspiration. Which is advantage, right? Uh, it lets you re-roll a die. So if you roll at disadvantage, you could re-roll the lower. No, nope, I'm good. Nineteen. So I used my D four. Seventeen. Jade. A total of three. One oh. plus one plus one. Fifteen. Fifteen. Uh, Fonir, son of Fonir, you knock one of the marble busts onto the ground. And a mechanical... Can I reflexively try and catch it? Yeah, you can try. <gasps> uh, make an acrobatics check. Nope, seven. Uh, and you hear a whirring and clicking as something starts moving towards that part. Go, 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 go. go, go, go. go, go. Sprint. Uh, so you guys just, just book it? Yeah. Okay. Cue the wind-up sound from Flintstones. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, so if you guys just book it out of the house, um, everyone make uh, just a quick athletics check for everyone who doesn't fly as you jump off the balcony. As we're leaving, can I throw another? I'm going to throw one of the other fuzzy <laughs> things and just leave another animal. See, see what it is. Okay, hold on. So my athletics check, fuck, mm -hmm. is a four. And then I chuck... Where's a D8? Holy crap. Inventory... Great bag of tricks. And now a badger is uh, loose. A uh, badger, badger appears on the balcony, and as you see the mechanical butler, the Earl, who you saw when you came here, uh -huh. was like, burglars, burglars. The badger just it's him. <laughs> <laughs> badgers, badgers. <laughs> and you just hear, oh my. <laughs> Oh, he turned into C-3PO. So everyone who got uh, under a 10 for their athletics check, take 1d6 fall damage. Okay. Except for flyers. Oh, shit. I got a 12. Okay. I got six. So I you, biffed it bad. Yeah, you biffed it pretty bad. 
It's because you were trying to get the badger out. So like you were turning around, grabbing the badger out, and you just kind of like, whoop, yeah. and fell over yeah. the trailing. We have the same HP now. Wonderful. <laughs> you guys are clear. You oh. have sassy Sally Jane. Oh. Um, uh, Nish? Yes. Yeah, where where does he where is he at right now? He's uh when he's plays Mali. No, he's Lorhold. Lorhold. Okay, Lorhold on. I mean, uh, that, guy's, wait, that went pretty fast. He might still be at the tavern. Ooh, yeah. We'll put it away. Okay. Okay. Let's go to the tavern. Stick Sassy Sally in my Let's bag. Let's go to the tavern. To the tavern. Tavern. tavern, I'm going to sit down and triumphantly, not triumphantly, but I'm going to Javanish. I'll take some uh, winner's pie. Does that mean you got her? What are you talking about? Swamp stew, please. Oh, kitchen's closed, unless there's something in it for me. Yeah, baby, we would, I, it's a sneaky surprise. Not in that dress. G-R-O-S-S. Gross. <laughs> so no one's seen Sassy Sally Jane for like a couple generations, so he has no idea what you're going to do. I don't know, but it's going okay. to believe that it's chocolate. <laughs> that <laughs> one's a little Ow. weird. Yes. <laughs> yes. Mm -hmm. uh, oh, sorry. Which I told them our parents are full of five so I don't know why this is broken. Sorry. Ish. I just lean in. Bro. What, bro? Um, Yay! Are we by ourselves? Is no, it, but know, like, okay. again, like, it's not like, like, this doll is famous, but mm -hmm. it's not like you guys are immediately going to get caught if you take it out. Yeah, well, so what I'll do is in my bag, I'll like, move its arm. No, 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 like make it say something. Oh. Like in there. One. Uh, we'll just change it to yeah. one you haven't heard before. How about Hell's No? Is that, is that Sassy Sally? I wink. Oh. Food, drinks, whatever you want. We're partying. Woo! I'm going to need that though. Whoever what? Oh, that was the deal. I gave you the drift globe. Right. For your, you give for me your the little doll. brother. Yeah. It's for his little brother. Okay. And I'll, kills. I'll go behind the counter and I'll just slide it over to and him. And then Javanesh holds it up and goes, and one of the bar like like starts screaming and yelling. <laughs> um, sneaky surprise, please. And he, he <laughs> gets you guys all food. Uh, and everyone kind of celebrates you guys the rest of the night. Like anything you guys... Like drinks and food and like Wizard Gizzard is played. And, yes. Like, <laughs> to pair up a mildly salty group in the corner, um, made up of uh, uh, gnome, a uh, human. With they were a, also tasked to get sassy and, and, <laughs> and they got detention. Oh no! Because they were in the manor when a boar bust through <laughs> and a bunch of people showed up and caught them. <laughs> Yay! Poor Kaim. <laughs> That's the first time that Cindy's ever had detention. Oh yeah, I don't know if Cindy even went. I don't know if Cindy could have handled that. <laughs> I don't know, guys. It's really like there's a lot of danger, and we really could be caught. And I'm on, you know, I don't want to be on academic suspension. And <laughs> explore new horizons. <laughs> yeah. Oh my goodness. That was Devil Wing Manor. There is so many more monsters in there. Like, if you guys had touched the first stoat, it turns into a fire snake. Um, oh, we can talk about an after party. Yeah. Uh, awesome. Very cool. I yeah, feel triumphant. Well, I mean, it's a short episode, but we might as well call it there because, like, there's just another test next. Yeah. Um, yeah. But welcome to level three, everybody. Skirt, <laughs> <laughs> skirt. Classes comment online. <laughs> I wonder what kind of. Subclass I'm gonna pick. Hmm. We already decided. I know. Oh, that was funny. <laughs> <laughs> the joke. Level three. But thank you for tuning in. We have several patrons who are great. Um, and... Their names are Sparky, Dossie, with Daniel, Rio's mom, Alistair, Sean, Rockleman, Deskrasp, Eric Fox, Meepo, Dream Lover, Duke Rellin, and Taku Arcana. Thanks for tuning in, everybody. And everybody, we went to the elemental plane of water, and all we got were these loud t-shirts. <laughs> <laughs>